Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the China Cup International Regatta 2011. The fifth annual China Cup International Regatta started off at the Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club last night with a gala party around the poolside. We are at the start of the distance race, a 34-mile race from Hong Kong to Long Cheer Yacht Club in Shenzhen. There are 88 boats out here divided into five classes. It's fabulous conditions, a little choppy, but we're going to see some great action on the water. The first start is the small boat class. It's getting very crowded here at the signal boat end. The seas are making it very, very difficult. There's the starting signal. No X flag, no one over early. And they're off to a great start. We've got multiple classes here on the starting line for the second start. Just moments away, Frank Pong's boat, the Reichel Pew 76, Jalik 2, is getting a great fast start, but just a little bit off the line. Quite a diversity of boats here in the second start. With less than a minute to go, the best is last. Finally, 29 boats lining up here. This is the Beneteau 40.7 class. It's going to be quite exciting here at the signal boat end. This is a little bit favored in these breezy, lumpy conditions. Lots of yelling going on. There are, are many, many teams from many nations here. So no doubt many languages being expressed and who has the right of way. Listen closely for the sound of crushing fiberglass. Bow number six from China squeezing in. Bow number 15 doesn't like that. There's a starting signal. A second starting signal and general recall. The general recall flag is going up. So we're gonna see this over again, ladies and gentlemen. We're in our second attempt to get the Beneteau 40.7s off from their failed first start. They had a general recall. The black flag was up, so anybody over the line on this start will get automatically de-eskewed. The stakes are high. There's the starting signal, and everybody's off clean this time. 29 Beneteaus out here round out the fleet of 88. It turns out 88 is a very lucky number in Chinese culture. Earlier today on the way out to the start, we watched the Barracuda team do lucky circles in front of a goddess of Teen Hao, who is goddess of the sea. Peter Mox Temujin, a North Shore 38 from Australia, is doing well on the outside track around Bluff Island. Steve Ho's Millennium 45 got a little bit of a late start, so they're having to catch up on this first leg out to Bluff Island. With the fabulous backdrop of Bluff Island in the background, Dr. Sito's brand new, right out of the box, McConaughey 38 in its first race, showing a little bit of light air, but certainly a lot of pace. This boat is carbon fiber, built in McConaughey, a brand new boat. Island. The waves bounce back off the shore, providing spectacular action, and the Beneteau 40.7s are still pushing hard.
Simpson Marine has tacked off the island, now coming back to try to hold on to their current second place. And taking the lead in the Benetos is the Be Beijing Sailing Center. They've extended over the whole fleet of Benetos heading up the coast. Meanwhile, up here in the front of the fleet, Frank Pong's Jellic, the Reichel Pew 75, is struggling in light air. There's a little northwesterly that has replaced the northeast monsoon as mainland China comes up in the mist. And for one of the first times, the race committee has set the finish line right here off the Longchir Yacht Club, the proper long course. Frank Pong's Jalik 2 has taken elapsed time honors here in the passage race of the China Cup. Showing a great performance in their first ever regatta, Dr. Zito's uh, Tornado 1, he's got also Tornado 2, is second across the finish line. They've been racing five hours and 26 minutes. Now, Zok Avant Garde, the Archambault 40, is currently the corrected time winner in the passage race. Approaching the finish line, Bow 21, China Equity. This is Jerry Burrow and his America's Cup team, the China team, just shooting it up to get around that pin end. But we have a little insider information. There they go. They're looking at us here on the signal boat. There's no signal. They're wondering why. And the reason, ladies and gentlemen, is a heartbreaker. They were over, the, er, over early at the start with a black flag, so they actually get DSQ. They do not get scored for this race. Now our real winner in the Beneteau 40s is Nord, a team from Russia. They've done a fantastic job, 29 boats. They have a protest flag up, no doubt, from that exciting start we saw earlier in the show. And the action in the Beneteau 40s continues after 34 miles. We've got boats overlapped. The team from Simpson Marine from Hong Kong is La Barnstormer, keeping them away from the finish. This is going to be exciting indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Simpson Marine now breaking off the luff, bearing away, coming at us in the finish. It'll be a photo finish here. Unbelievable, after 34 miles of sailing, nearly six hours long, Simpson Marine coming in will get the runner-up prize for this passage race.